The federal government and businesses alike continue to deal with the fallout of the SolarWinds attack weeks after the hack was uncovered. And as a new Congress convenes, it appears that cybersecurity is going to be a priority. So let's dive into how the new 117th Congress and the newly sworn in members of the Biden administration plan to tackle security concerns. Stick around. Hey everyone, welcome back to Today in Tech. I'm Juliette Beauchamp. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon in the corner so you're notified every single time we post a new video, which is just about every weekday. Today, we're diving into federal cybersecurity here in the US. While cybersecurity may not be priority number one of the new Biden administration, there's still agreement amongst the executive branch and Congress that it is incredibly important at the federal level and at the state and local levels. And Senator Mark Warner has even suggested that, especially in the wake of the SolarWinds attack, that Congress could revisit the possibility of a national data breach notification law. While we can't really give specifics as to what this data breach notification law would look like, there is, of course, international and national precedent for data privacy and data breach notification laws and acts. Internationally, you can obviously look at GDPR, which has a data breach notification portion and has been enforced in the EU. And nationally, we do have a privacy law here for citizens of California called CCPA. While GDPR and CCPA are certainly different, and we actually have a few videos diving into the differences between them that I'll link below, there is a precedent that Congress could build upon to establish some sort of national data breach notification, law, clause, what have you. Other noteworthy bills in the pipeline that still have to do with cybersecurity include a $400 million grant that would give aid to state and local governments to better beef up their cybersecurity practices, tools, what have you. And there's also a separate measure that would give local government support and tools when responding to a ransomware attack. We know that state and especially local governments can be especially susceptible to ransomware attacks. And there's plenty of instances in which local governments have, instead of combating ransomware with IT measures or further cybersecurity measures, have opted to just pay the ransom, even though that's very much against federal guidelines. So it's possible that these federal bills and these measures that are being debated and hopefully potentially passed in Congress would give local governments the, whether it be manpower or just money, to better combat these ransomware attacks in line with guidance from the FBI and federal officials. As I implied earlier, cybersecurity measures are almost certainly not priority number one for the Biden administration. Code response, for example, is probably a lot more pressing, especially in these first days, weeks, and even months. But President Biden has already called for $10 billion in cybersecurity spending, so that's certainly not nothing. As more information about how that $10 billion will be spent comes to light, we'll of course continue to update you, especially pointing out how that may affect enterprises. But in the meantime, I wanna hear from you. What are you thinking that that $10 billion should be spent on? And are there any specific bills or measures in Congress that you're keeping your eye on when it comes to cybersecurity? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon in the corner, like I already mentioned, so you're notified every single time we post a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.